So Vic, what's your reaction to Bombardier winning the Cup? I'm very yeah. pleased. Really good news. Not just for my future, but for the apprentices and my, any new people that come on the training. And, and that you've um, been in, working for Bombardier for, for more than 30 years. How do you rate this day in terms of your career? Um, really good news. Uh, can't emphasise the fact that uh, all the contracts were coming to an end in 18 months. Uh, you start to worry, I'm, I'm 55, we're not 56. 18 months down the road, am I going to get employment anywhere else if the place happens to close? Excellent. So, so, so really bright, cool. a bright future for, for you yes. and Bombay. So Nick, from, from your family's perspective, why is this crossrail decision so important to you? From a family, we've got four generations. My father was here before me, grandfather, my son works down here now, in the same building as myself, so it's uh, really positive for the family. Really and, and what was your reaction when you heard that Bombardier had won the deal? Um, it's like a lead weight been lifted, really, and to me, and it's just so positive from the family. Going back in, we've had the previous bad news, you know, to me in the grey days have long gone now uh, and it's positive. The, the future's looking rosy. Absolutely. And Kane is at the, more or less at the start of his Bombardier career. Are you pleased that now he, he's got a future? Very much so. He, he just bought his first house, so obviously he's looking for money, he's looking for security, so that's really positive. It's, it's for my son I'm more pleased. But for everybody who works, I know all my friends, but for my son it's really pleasing. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. OK, cool. So you're the production manager for this section. Uh, what does this mean to the lads and what does it mean for morale? Well, for morale, if we start with morale, it's absolutely great. You know, the news today, we've been called over and sort of told the great news. So for morale, it's, it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, for the people, again, you know, it's really good. It's great news. It's longevity of, of work, really. And, um, I mean, from your, from your perspective personally, what was, what was your reaction when you heard the news? From, uh, <laughs> Grace, I might see my retirement down <laughs> soon. So that, that was it for me, really. Yeah, yeah. Just, just getting that longevity in mind. Fantastic. And you've, you've injured your hand, if you hold that up to the camera. Do you feel like getting better now it's, that you've won Since I've heard this morning, <laughs> I've been and had the plaster cast off because it feels that good. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. Thank you very much indeed, Paul. Great day yeah, fantastic day. Really, really superb. And you know, what I want to make very clear is that the workforce and the management have won this contract. Uh, you know, there's, uh, they've, they've fought off stiff competition, but they've won the contract. Obviously, sort of three years out in terms of a lot of water past under bridge and there's, there's a lot of events. Um, would you say that that had any, any impact or, or, or helped raise the importance of that? Well, I think, you know, when you talk to the management here, they will say that they learned uh, from Siemens. They didn't allow that to step in their way of uh, wanting to secure a lot of orders. They've, they've won other orders. I mean, I know this is a, a real big order, but they've won other orders during the process too. What we're seeing is a huge amount of new rolling stock uh, coming onto the British Railways. Rolling stock which is desperately needed for all the investment we're putting into the railways. We will be investing over the next five years £38 billion pounds uh, through Network Rail on our infrastructure. So that's very important. Part of that £38 billion pounds are the new trains that we're ordering today, or that we've ordered, that are being built over there, the Southern, which are fantastic trains there, sort of going out there now on the, uh, on, 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 the, on, the, on the transport system, and also obviously Crossrail, which was a, a very big order. I mean, to secure a real long-term future train going in there, as you say, there, there, there might be opportunities you know, going forward you know, to electric transportation. Would you, would you expect or hope that Bombardier puts itself forward for these two to really make sure that train going in there are long Well, look, I, I, as a local member of Parliament, knew how disappointed people were with the Siemens announcement and I understood that. But what, what I think the government is showing is that we are investing heavily in the railways. We're probably investing more in the railways today than we've ever invested uh, over, over the last few generations. Uh, so there are plenty of opportunities. There's, you know, there's a lot of electrification going on. There's 880 miles of electrification planned 
they need new road in stock, so there should be plenty of opportunities. And very last question, is the HSP College coming to Derby? Well, uh, <laughs> everybody is making a bid. Uh, I've had, I had three bids this morning during questions in the House of Commons for the HS2 <laughs> College. What I think it is important is that HS2 is there to serve the whole of, of the country and it is to make sure we've got those, those, those connections and capacity. HS2 is not just about speed, it is about capacity on the railways. Is the college coming to Derby? No, no, no. <laughs> no decision has yet been taken. No decision has yet been taken. That's right. But I'm very pleased that this order today has come to Derby. Great stuff. Thank you very okay. much. All right. Cheers. Cheers. See you.